right on adventure. What you are now witnessing is footage never before seen by civilized humanity. A lost world in South America. Lurking in the shadow of majestic Paradise Falls, it sports plants and animals undiscovered by science. Who would dare set foot on this inhospitable summit? Why, our subject today, Charles Muntz. The beloved explorer lands his dirigible, the spirit of adventure in New Hampshire this week, completing a year-long expedition to the lost world. This lighter than aircraft was designed by Muntz himself and is longer than 22 prohibition paddy wagons placed end to end. And here comes the adventurer now. Never apart from his faithful dogs, Muntz conceived the craft for canine comfort. It's a veritable floating palace in the sky, complete with doggy bath and mechanical canine walker. And Jiminy Cricket, do the locals consider Muntz the bee's knees? And how? Adventure is out there. But what has Muntz brought back this time? Gentlemen, I give you a monster of Paradise Falls. And golly, what a swell monster this is. But what's this? Scientists cry foul. The National Explorer Society accuses Muntz of fabricating the skeleton. No! The organization strips Muntz of his membership. <sighs> Humiliated, Muntz vows a return to Paradise Falls and promises to capture the beast alive. I promise to capture the beast alive. And I will not come back until I do. And so the explorer's off to clear his name. Bon voyage, Charles Muntz, and good luck capturing the monster of Paradise Falls. Here's Charles Muntz piloting his famous dirigible. He hurdles Pikes Peak. He hurdles the Grand Canyon. He hurdles Mount Everest. He goes around Mount Everest. Is there nothing he cannot do? Yes, as Muntz himself says, adventure is... <laughs> 